Episode 15, Kyoto Sister School Exchange Event, Team Battle 1. This should be really, really good. It's the, the battle tournament arc, but with the extra thing of, like, the hit placed on Yuji that they don't know about. Oh no, do they let him be MC? That is such a terrible idea, and I love it. President Mike, she is not. Hey, she's got a, a, a broom. How is Soto going to handle this, I wonder? Because how does he fight in this tournament without aiding in their cause? He was the only one who had a real opposition to the assignment to kill Yuji. God, Goro's dog is a scout. This reminds me so much of My Hero Academia, a battle in the forest between two rival classes. Hopefully it goes better for these kids than it did for them. This is making me want to run, and that's saying something. And there he is, he's showing up by himself. <laughs> Damn, he's out of his mind. And just Yuji goes right for him. I can't help but wonder if he's trying to do them a favor though. Like, is that just his personality? Maybe he's just that crazy? Or is he trying to put an end to it quickly so that the Yuji plot doesn't happen? I can't remember. Has he heard about his taste in women yet? I feel like Jennifer Lawrence is a, an answer he'd respect. No? That's the pacifist option to this fight. Girl talk. And then a flashback. Alright, so that's just how he is, I guess. We all knew that. But it's still terrifying. That's how powerful he is. Yeah. <laughs> they give him a tremendous amount of respect. I guess he's earned it. And then vicariously, respect for Panda and Megumi. He's their ace. Yeah, it's a bit of a cliche, but I can understand how, for someone like him, who's just used to being so dominant, it might be fun to actually have a challenge. I like how just totally irrelevant that, that spirit was. <laughs> I see you went to the Levi school of <laughs> dealing with your underlings. So much for looking out for Yuji. I don't know, it seems more like he just loves stomping. That, that's, that's the face of compassion right there. And then he accidentally carries out the mission, despite protesting it. Injuries are inevitable, what have you. Let's help each other out. <laughs> you should probably stay down. I know you're a protagonist and everything, but you have head trauma. <laughs> you you want to have a career. <laughs> nice self-own there. <laughs> The gospel according to Takata. Oh no, you made a powerful enemy. Oh! Speaking of being dumb. Alright, this is their first meeting. Yes, here it is. Hit him with that Jennifer Lawrence. It's, it's relevant. <gasps> oh my god, it's even better than Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, he hit him with both. There couldn't, could not have been a more perfect answer. And that is how they gained him as an ally in this tournament arc. Is this like a fanfic he's writing in his head of their future friendship? Imagine all the, the big asses they could worship together. I don't think that's not okay. Well, I'm gonna take a stab at an answer. She doesn't know who you are. Also, she probably has a boyfriend or something like that going on secretly. She has to hide it from her fans. I feel like that kind of image thing is even more heavily managed among Asian idols. I believe that's the case in Korea, at least. Like, idols are, of course, single and have no boyfriends at all. Not one romantic interest. As human beings, just being, being lonely. Subverting that need that everyone has successfully for five or six years. But one of these days, the right fan will just come along and attend a fan signing, and that's gonna be what, what breaks the streak. That's what they've been waiting for. Other idols, no thank you. I'm holding out to, to date a fan. A fan whose name I don't know. Although I admire the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Fair enough, like, I think it depends on your expectations. If you're in a good place, you can try anything, you know what I mean? She wouldn't say that, even if that were true. And now Yuji has to pick the pieces. Look, props are trying though. I don't want to be too too hard on the idea. That takes major guts. Yes, <laughs> like 0.000. 000. 
No, zero. It's zero percent chance. There's no chance at all. They're really great friends in this fantasy. Kind of wish this were real. Imagine all they could be. <laughs> he just he worked himself up into tears. <laughs> That's amazing. It does seem that way. I feel like you're just the kind of guy that, that will accept it pretty quickly, if not right now. And then Quidditch. This is just not fair. This is just not fair. Just like in, in My Hero Academia, speaking of which. They're like actually going for the kill right now. Like they just wasted no time. How quickly does he realize that this is not a match? There you go. At least he got there quickly. This is sort of bizarre because I didn't expect anything from this character from his introduction other than, you know, some comedic relief. The question about the girls is pretty great, just as some lighthearted fun, you know, but actually this is amazing. I, l I love the fact that he's principled enough to put everything else aside in value of not doing something that feels horribly wrong, you know? Like, there's so much potential for, for peer pressure. What makes it extra striking is the fact that the whole Kyoto class, while perhaps uncomfortable with it to a certain extent, at least, you know, many of them, really did not react the way I would expect high school kids to react to the idea of killing a, a classmate. And, you know, it's been pointed out to me that this is sort of their world. They are dealing with the supernatural and they are sort of battle-hardened. They know the stakes. But even so, I feel like it's a lot. You know, it's a lot to jump from killing curses to killing a human being, even if they think the human being is cursed, even if they think he's dangerous. I expected a lot more of a distaste for it, which you know, I could be totally wrong, but my take and still my impression now is that it's a function of how kind of small this world is and how sort of indoctrinated they've been into this system, which as we've seen is not comprised of the most upstanding, greatest, morally righteous people. This is sort of a trademark for the channel, I guess, where I'm going to always kind of side with trying to find a way that's not so unpalatable and distasteful as just straight up murdering someone in the name of potentially avoiding tragedy in the future. So I love the fact that Toto is his own person, even if he's his own person in a variety of quirky ways. And even if some of that is his depiction as sort of a hothead, you know, who wants to battle or whatever. There's something really admirable and strong about having that amount of self-directedness. I want to see all their domains. Like, all of them. There we go. She's, she's another one who has some real heart. Oh no, that just made him more, more aggressive somehow. Off to find the snitch I go. Alright, <laughs> 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 so pretty much they're all figuring it out. <laughs> and figuring it out flashback a la Armin and Attack on Titan. What? <laughs> Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I get the argument for it, but no, I don't like it. Yeah. Gakugan just not, not a great guy. That's what I'm saying. I'm really, like, relieved to hear this. Yeah, and this is all true. They have more of a connection to him, but even if they didn't, it's a lot. Right, right. This is the logical argument for why he's, he needs to be taken out. I'm so glad to hear this. To be fair to the Kyoto kids, I don't think it's malice. I don't think they're all terrible. Maybe some of them are. A lot of it just feels to me like them being impressionable and kind of fully having bought into this life. And on the plus side, it gives certain characters a chance to shine even brighter, like Toto and like, damn, what is her name? Blue haired girl. But also, this is probably not going to stop. I mean, Yuji's not going to get less powerful. This is going to come to a head. It's not going to happen now because this is sort of the first attempt, Ganaganji is using the students as kind of a, a proxy and it's not going to take, but I really am imagining some sort of end of Evangelion thing where it's kind of a scramble at the end to either seize the reins of power or eliminate it. This is also precarious, this whole Jujutsu society, it seems. Do you know who the real enemy is? You know, is it even the curses? <laughs> Yuji 
Yeah, I guess the one thing they have going for them is that it, they still can't be super overt. It has to happen during the team battle, right? You'd think that would buy him time until the next plot. I like how his summons are famous. <laughs> kind of horrifying. We're all kind of on the same page now, I think. It's weird that it's so out in the open like this, you know? Like, imagine working for a, an agency that you know is trying to kill you. He's just taking it. The double punch. <laughs> the expression of this double punch. Pretty cool. <laughs> I like the detail. Yeah, it is Yuji after all. The ultimate athlete. He's an admirer. We, we got a new fan. Or not. <laughs> Given Bonito Flakes due to run for his money, she's the other one. Right. I have high hopes for her as a character. It comes across. Immediately. Even with limited screen time, there have already been two things that make me like her a whole lot. One is this decision, or... She's kind of going along with it, but you can tell her heart's not in it and she's holding back deliberately. And two, she's a Gojo fan. So, any fan of Gojo's is a friend of mine. Speaking of My Hero Academia... Oh. Well... Maybe it could be Nanami. That's <laughs> bunny goal. For my parents. <laughs> That's a great reason. For my family. Oh, why is that? He's taking an interest, personal stake in Yuji's development, thanks to their love of asses. Best friend, we just accelerated this relationship so quickly. I can think of a lot worse reasons to be friends. Juju, Juju Sampo! What kind of person is your type? Man, they're really going into this idea in depth. That's too bad, I'm interested in her answer. What is a UBSSD? I have no idea what any of these things mean. Oh, it's a person. <laughs> like Gojo. Like Gojo. Oh, this I really want to know. Oh, the nice one with bangs, of course. That one, yeah. She's not nice. Nope, not nice. Is it? Is it? The, no. Wow, a lot of not nice girls. <laughs> oh no, so, is it her? It, it is her. Wow, it's mutual. That's really lucky. Maybe he's the only one for her. Miwa, right. Interesting. To be fair, I think she's the clear winner out of the girls in the show. Am I crazy? Anyway, I sort of have no idea at all how this arc is going to take shape. I'm really intrigued by the setup in this sorcerer world. It just seems so ready to fall. Like, there's so much peril, so much distrust and discordance between members, varying incentives, not a whole lot of community as a, as a whole. It's more like there are individual links or factions or whatever. There's a lot of bad blood at multiple levels, and this is sort of not a great time for that, considering that the villains are getting stronger. And it seems that curses are evolving and they have some kind of big plan that's going to take shape for humanity. But I think one positive outcome that might come out of this tournament is, at the very least, the student being more on the same page. Maybe not all of them. It seems like there are some who are kind of set against Yuji or set against other individuals, but this is one of the staples of tournament arcs is that you kind of develop respect for each other through seeing how capable the other person is and realizing that you're, you know, a lot more similar than you are different. They're all here, right? Which means they already have certain really fundamental things in common and they continue to be here. You know, they continue to choose to be here and make these choices and put up with the difficulty of this life. So they all have that going for them, at least. The bigger threat seems to be coming from the administration, you know, Gak Gakuganji and whoever else is kind of operating behind the scenes that has it out for Yuji. 